maisha ya bishop na maisha yako. I want to make an announcement from heaven. You are mighty woman. You are mighty man. I tell you, mimi nimeona utukufu wa mungu. I have seen the glory of God ahead of you. And God told me, waambie, waambie, wavuke. Waambie, wavuke. Utukufu hauko ngambo ambao uko. Utukufu uko ngambo ingina pale. And I want to destroy Satan and his works. And Satan, you must hear me. I curse you now. Oh, Satan, I curse you now. These are mighty men of God. Lakini sasa katikati ya mahali mtu ako. Na mahali mungu anakuita mighty man. Kumesimama mambo ya nao funga akili. Kumesimama mambo ambao. They are too real. Problems that are so real. And so touching. And yet. Kama utavuka hizo. And that's why Christ said the kingdom suffers violent and the violent take it by force. Hallelujah. Wapendwa. I don't know who you are now. But all what I know is that you are very rich. According to God. All what I know ni kwaba watoto hao wamezaa sio vile wako kile kiliwapata ni kitu kingine kimekaa hapo jiani i would like you to look at your boy, your son and your daughter umwambie sasa hata ukiwa hapa kimwamua mwambie sasa my son and my daughter kile kilikupata sio kile kiko ngambo ile ni kile kilikuwa kinakugojea hapo kikuharibu kikuzuie but we want to release our sons and our daughters to the glory Waweza kuwa na kijana wangu ambao kwa masomo na katika mwili amejaa magonjo amejaa nini but right now as i speak mutate mutaja tu jina na useme my daughter hata kama hali iliyokupata inaonekana is so real is so real kwaba unaitwa failure is so real kukuita jina maskini esori kukuita mjinga hali ambayo unapitia esori hata watu kukureject but i'm here to tell you hiyo hali unapitia sio original ni kitu kiliwekwa katikati yako na utukufu there is a god that satan ameweka matope na kile umepata It's not the real. It's not what God intended for you. Israel waliambiwa wanaenda inchi ya maziwa na asali. Only to discover between maziwa na asali is a desert. Can I, can I tell something? Do you know desert was not original? Desert was not in original design. There is nowhere katika unabiwa Abraham katika unabiwa Musa katika unabiwa Biblia Mungu alikuwa anahesabu hiyo desert it's not part of it and that's why kwa jangwa walikaa kwa hema and that's why kwa jangwa the pillar of fire could stop a little bit a little bit and later inaenda bele saying hapa Haikuweko katika original prophecy. Kile kikwa original prophecy ni inchi ilio ngambo ya maziwa na asali. But hear this. Never accept conditions the desert kuwa original. Jesus help these people now. Help these people now. I say help these people now. Hallelujah. In a desert walipata bahari ya shamu. Waka interpret as if the final. Kwa Musa, Musa alijua 
hii ni bahari haikuwa imetajwa katika unabii wa Abraham this red sea must give way to prophecy prophecy ni kwamba tunaenda inchi iliyo na maziwa na asali lakini red sea imesimama mbele here this friends usisome red sea soma prophecy and red sea will become highway hallelujah kuvuka red sea kukawa na desert jangwa kavu wakaona kama jangwa ni riu walipofika hapo kukakauka 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 i want to do friends badala ya kusoma unabii wakasoma ukavu wa jangwa wewe ambao Mungu amekuita wa tajiri na umaskini umejaa kwa nyumba yako do not study poverty study prophecy and that's why ukiangalia kitabu cha Daniel Bible says in Daniel chapter uh, 25 verse 11 Bible nasema kitu hapa let's see and then we uh, proceed Daniel 25 verse 11 Trusting that you have your Bible with you by God's grace Danieli 25 aya uh-huh. Let's read it by God's uh, uh, Jeremiah 25 verse 11 Jeremiah 25 <clears throat> Let's first of all go to Daniel chapter 9 before we read Jeremiah Daniel chapter 9 Daniel chapter 9 I hope you are there by God's grace Daniel chapter 9 the bible says something Kuna mtu hapa wapendwa amevujika moyo Si kwa sababu kuvujika moyo what you have encountered is original It is where it's nowhere in pro, where She do not pitia it's nowhere in prophecy Nen chukua unabii na nia hiyo shida. Ambia mwenye nakuchezea, ambia mwenye kuchezea Jehova alikuwa amesema ninavuka. Ambia hiyo pepo Jehova alisema sitakufa nitaishi. Hata wakati Paul ali, uh, was beaten by a snake kabla hajafika Rome, alitingiza mkono ikaanguka, watu waka gojea paulo akufe kwa maana the snake was so poisonous na watu wa hiyo island walizoea ikiuma mtu razima akufe paulo alitingiza akiangusha kwa moto wakagojea agojeke wakagojea awe weak wakagojea akufe baada ya kukufa akaishi because even the snake must abide with the prophecy for god had appeared to paul akamwambia paul lazima ufike rome and you appear before Caesar. Oh, hata kama nyoka ina sumu wa kukua hivi minutes, it must obey the prophecy. I rebuke Satan in your life. I am speaking to the devil in your house. You devil, we are now commanding you to read the prophecy. Prophecy says I shall live. Eh, I shall live. Na sitakufia jangwani mimi. Oh, Satan, now kama una macho soma unabii kunihusu. Unasema sitakufa nitaishi. Bwana alisema nitaona watoto wangu na watoto wa watoto wangu shetani usijaribu kunichezea nao na kota papa shanga somebody should, should read this prophecy and that's why baba sema katika mwaka you can read it let me in english as my naiva here i hope the lord you help us not to read the word of god bible inasema daniel chapter 9 verse 2 in the first year of his reign katika mwaka wa kwanza wa kumiliki kwake nani aswero mfalme wa pashia in the first year of his reign daniel understood by books daniel understood by books what the number of the years whereof the word of god came to jeremiah the prophet 
that he would accomplish 70 years in desolation of Jerusalem. Katika mwaka wa kwanza wa kumriki kwake asweru. Mimi Danieli koku visoma vitabu nilifahamu hesabu ya miaka ambao nilona buwana limuja jeremaya nabi ya kutimiza ukiwa wa Yerusalem yani miaka sabini. Amen. I had I understood by the books. I understood by prophecy. Kwamba hatuku watuwe watumwa indefinitely. It was a moment only 70 years. And Daniel said to God, God, I now bring this prophecy katika utumwa. I want to speak prophecy to slavery. I want to speak prophecy to slavery. Niambia utumwa ambao tukodani yake huku isi huku ngambo. Pashia Babylon. Niambia utumwa. Slavery! Prophecy says, limit 70 years. I pray that you speak prophecy. Kwa kide shetani ya mekupangia. Devil, I want to tell you now. Ilikuwe meandi kwa kwamba by this time, I should be owning a good house. Devil, I want to speak to you now. Mimi si yelewi mamba ya krona nini. I want to tell you, Satan, God had spoken this about me. Hallelujah. And that's why ukisoma bibili ya kitabu cha Joshua, Kareb anamambia Joshua, Joshua, don't you remember? Don't you remember? Maneno ambao Jehovah aliongea na kinywa cha Musa tulipo kuwa Kadesh Bania. Kwa mba mulimo Hebron, atakama unakama jitu wa inagani. For it is clear. Now you need to know this. Kwa nini wengine wato walipawa urivi? Kareb akabaki. What was wrong? It's because Mount Hebron Mount Hebron ilikuwa na majitu abosi kawaida. Na sasa huyu muzea na hitu wa Kareb. Kareb akagojea sana. Why? Kwa nini Joshua amealokitu wengine? Akawapa, akawapa, akawapa. Kwa nia mesa hao? Lafikiake Kareb. If you check the Bible, the Bible talks about it very clearly. Let's read it by God's grace. Uh, uh -huh. Hallelujah. That is Joshua 14, 6. And Kareb, son of Jephneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. That's powerful. That's powerful. Hallelujah. I was, verse 7, Joshua 14, verse 7, I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the Lord and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Praise the Lord. And verse 10, and now behold, the Lord has kept me alive. And as he said, these 45 years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, for Israel wandered, wandered in the wilderness, and now I am this day 85 years old. Verse 11, as yet I am as strong this day, as I was on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both for going out and coming in. Now therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day, for you heard in that day how Anakim were there already anajua kuna kama jitu wabo Joshua na wagopa wanaitua Anakim were there and the cities were great and fortified it may be hear this it may be the Lord will be with me and 
I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. Hata kama kuna kama jitu nenea majitu unabi. It's not might or strength is prophecy. And that's why kada wasama hivi it's okay kama kuna mulima wewe Joshua unajua una kama jitu inaitwa Anakim about they are dreadful ni majitu ya kuogopwa ni mulima and it appears Joshua you are taking too long to possess and to take over the mountain for you fear them but now mimi nataka tu unibariki niingie kwa maana sauti ilisema huu ni urithi wa familia yangu hata kama utanisaidia it is it is enough for me to say this yamkini jehova atanipa umulima kama alivyo sema sio kama nilivyo kama alivyo sema in other words nataka majitu na mulima wa hebron wasome unabii wangu huu mulima ni wangu prophecy says that and god you give it to me as he said I say friends any gap between you and your mountain must read the prophecy God spoke to me about this and God has appeared to me kuniambia kwamba there are so many people here about Jehovah has great plan wapendwa ni mawaombe I pray for this church and I want to cast the devil in fact kama shetani ange we want to cast the devil properly kuna watu you are saved and you are good lakini kile kimejaa kwa akili yako is the message from the devil sio message ya dhambi ni kitu kimetokea katikati yako na utukufu katikati yako na unambi it is making impossible for you to cross over but it has to give way oh mko tayari mko tayari hizo bahari na mawibi zisome unambi wetu Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like spending the whole night praying here. I want to speak to somebody. I want to speak to an issue. I want to speak to problems. I want to speak to the enemies of my soul. I want to speak even some people don't understand you. Wana wewe ni kasjana tu wa kusubeo vyo vyo. Nataka kutumia munda ni nenema ndui wangu unabii wangu mausome. Nataka kuchukua munda ni nene hata majitu yangu ya siku hizi the prophecy. Nataka kuchukua munda sasa ni nene hata akili yangu unabii. Something must happen. Time has come at the sisi tunene maisha yetu. Daudi akasema bless the Lord O oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name. He who forgives all your sins, he who heals all your diseases. I want to speak to my heart, my heart don't lose strength. This what God said about you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tumefika pahali ambapo even some fellow our fellow brothers and sisters wametuletea kitu kingine. Demons are not speaking. Hata kwa wachungaji. Unakuta people are withdrawing. Mighty men destined for glory are withdrawing. Shetani ni kama kamchoro amezoea kucholea watu tumemuona tumemuona shetani tunajua kuna discouragement kuna ujaja ujaja na mambo mengi inatoka kwa watu na hali kuna watu na kuna hali zimetokea na nguvu sana watu wengine hapa that you are mighty prophets you are taking another direction Watu wengine hapa ambao siku zijazo mutasimama juu ya milima kama Elijah na moto ushuke. You are taking the wrong direction. Watu wengine hapa ambao mutakuwa wa mama wa kimataifa, wazee wa kimataifa. Kwa sababu tutakuwa tukiingia ndege tunaenda international mission na kaa kwa madhabahu. Nasema hao ni manabii wa kutoka bahati. Hao ni manabii nimekuja nao. Some people who are supposed to see that are so discouraged. Kwa sasa you are giving
giving up. I will tell you now, tunanenea your gap imetokea between you and glory. Kuna ujaja umekuja hasa this year and last year. Messages from the devil. Messages from the agent of darkness. Messages from situations. Messages from circumstances. Now, by the authority of God, we know it's the devil behind them. People have been stationed all over. Hallelujah. Sometimes people will misunderstand you. Unakuta in your family, you have been misunderstood. Watu walio karibu na wewe, your wife, your husband, your children, wale about you age kuelewa, diyo hawa kuelewi na wanatumua vibaya. But now, we are not stopping. And I want to give you an assurance. The, there's let me say something. God is anointing you with, a, with discernment. Na hakuna maficho ya shetani itabaki. There is no hidden sacred place of the devil about haita shukulikiwa. And I want to declare to you because mini mawambea. Kuna kitu mekwe kinisubua. Because there is a great vision in anisubua. Great one. Na any time na kuja hapa kuhubiri, ni mekua nika, God, are these the people that tutatumika now? And God told me, go and tell them, kuna gap about see original. See original. See original. Ambao imesimama katikati yao. Na utukufu. And that's why, if you read Mark chapter 4, Utaona how, what, what, what happened to disciples. Bible, this is a story that you know very well. In Mark chapter 4, is a story you know very well. Is the word of God. Munaijua vizuri sana yu story. Kitabu cha mariko, sura ya ine. Mark chapter 4. Mariko, Mark chapter 4. Bibi nasema hivi. Mark chapter 4, I hope you are there. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, that's how God works. God is so powerful. Okay, Agaria verse 35. Now tell me how God works. And the same day when the evening was come, he said to them, let us pass over unto the other side. Siku ile kulipo kwa jioni, akawambia na tuvuke mpaka ngabo. You know the words, Tuvuke. So, what is going to happen between Ngambo and where they are? The only activity Jesus want between where I am na Ngambo ni Kuvuka. In between, it's in a business. Between me na Ngambo, the other side, what the only activity katikati ya mahali nipo na mahali naenda ni kuvuka. Siku subuliwa, sio kukwama, sio kulialia, sio kupoteza munda. The only activity between where I am and ngambo ambo ni naenda inaitwa kuvuka. I said to you, Fred, the only activity between where you are and glory that God has prayed for you ni kuvuka. Satan should understand. Devil, don't bring other business between me and my gift. Nikuvuka. Satan, I curse you now. The original statement was Ninavuka. Ninavuka. Sio kupoteza muda. Kuvuka means kuenda. Pahari, the next station about in a meaning. Mahari yesu ataanza kazi na wewe. Ningabo ile. Katikati nikuvuka. Katikati ya muonge yene zini. Katikati ya kuna activity. Katikati ya kuna mikutano. Katikati ya kuna mijadara. Katikati ya kuna parliament na udwa. Katikati hakuna kuongea na anybody. Katikati si mambo ya kukonsult. Katikati is simple as this. Nikuvuka tunavuka. But you realize as they were crossing over something an activity. Namushike hii. An activity. 
kuna mujadara kuna kitendo kuna interference ilitokea ambao shetani alikuwa anataka sasa wanafunzi wasahau jina kuvuka jina kuvuka liwe replace na kukufa jina kuvuka liwe replace na kuangamia jina kuvuka liwe replace na hali ya usuni jina kuvuka liwe replace na kifo Satan hear this I'm not dying on the way the word and the directive and the order said I'm crossing over don't change the word crossing over to be death to be stubbornness to be discouragement and I want to cast that out of you oh the new vocabulary that has been introduced the new statement kwa baka kidogo lala angamia chaganyikiwa uwe na stressed uwe depressed lukwa na akiri hiyo majina haikuweko jina lililotoka kwa kinywa cha mwokozi ni kuvuka and now any other word the devil has introduced between you na ngambo ile i cancel it by the blood of just christ na anybody that is being used katikati yako na ngambo kureta vituko na muondoa kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo nasema aondoke my agent wa giza wanaokaa katikati na kureta other terminologies other terminologies the original name the term the original term you are crossing over but somebody else is bringing some questions katikati ya bahari Unapovuka kuna minjadi la mtu amekuletea mwambie mimi sijui wao mengine I don't want na wapendwa kitu kimoja kimevuja watu moyo ni mambo ambao umeokota jiani ambao haikutoka kwa kinywa cha mwenye safari yako And now by the word of God I put down every stronghold of the devil Oh shara baba bosaka Before I preach on can you lift your head up now chochote kimekaa kwa jia kinabadilisha sauti ya Bwana kinabadilisha safari kinabadilisha kile Bwana linena nataka kilaaniwe sasa hata kama ni mtu twavunja maneno yake kama katapo sokoti makaya kama ni magonjwa yalaaniwe kama ni vituko vilaaniwe mapigo yalaaniwe ibilisi yalaaniwe ya 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 uchawi ulaaniwe in Christ pia Yesu makofi anaweza haleluya and that's why if you check your bible kire no jesus hakuna mahali yesu alikuwa ameogea kuzuma ya storms if you check your bible wasa waliacha mkutano wakachukua vile vile that verse that six katika chobo na yesu alikuweko and when they had sent away multitude they took him even as he was in the ship and there was also with him little ships ikatokea dhoruba this should be rebuked do you know the ruba haitasikia any other language it requires authority from the master kuna kitu watu wameharibu katikati yako na ngambo umeanza ku compromise na watu umeanza kusubiriwa akili let me say this kile kimetokea katikati yangu na ngambo kinahitaji word of command and word of authority hata kama ni nani Mwambie na usiogope. Jehovah, this is what God said about me. That's why hata kama Joshua ndiye alikuwa kiongozi. Ukiangalia Joshua chapter 1, nani alikuwa kiongozi? Si Caleb, ni Joshua. Nani alikuwa kama mashaba? Ni Joshua sio Caleb. But Caleb noticed something. Something. Kuna kitu katikati yangu na mlima wangu. Na ni kama Joshua is introducing something between me and the mountain of promise akamwambia sikiza stack story nyingi na kama do you know Caleb demanded give me my mountain Caleb did not request for the army Caleb did not request for partnership Caleb did not request for support Caleb requested for the consent and permission vile ataangusha majitu Joshua muachie vile atapenya Joshua muachie and that's why Caleb said ya mkini Jehovah atanipa umulima kama alivyosema kwa maana katikati yangu na mlima 
I have nothing to compromise. I have nothing to discuss. I have nothing to fear. I now speak the original prophecy to the giants in this mountain. I rebuke you, devil. Oh, my God, my God. Kuna mashata babo. Today, kuna gap in Naisha. Today, kuna vituko tunangusha. Wapendwa umekaa miaka 20. Mahali ulikuwa umevuka umekaa 20 years. Devil want you to grow old without your mountain. Ambia shetani hapana. Karebali sema hata kama niko na miaka 85, alimwambia Joshua I cannot waste more time. Niko na miaka 85 na Mungu aliongea niko na miaka 40, akamwambia sikiza sasa. Sikiza sasa Joshua. Ni kama mbia Joshua hivi. Joshua, you think I'm old. Unafikiri ni mesahau. Na Joshua, unafikiri ni takubali kuzeeka ni kufe. Bila urithi. No way. Ali muambia hivi. Haku muambia mpe jeshi. Ali muambia guvu nilio kuwa nae ni kipewa hardi. I still have it. My capacity to go out and come back. It's still original. Just as I was. Nikona meka 40. And I'm a bia Joshua. Sikisa Joshua. It is me. Ni mimi tudiada na wewe. Na mimi. If you know. If you want to say something. Although Joshua na Karep. Wao walito alipoti nzuri. Mwenye hasa mungu aliprifani Karep. It's only Karep. Mungu asema. He had a different spirit. Wakati watu alivujwa moyo, although Joshua alikuwa upado wa Caleb, the person who spoke ni Caleb. May God help me now. I tell you, nina mashat up. Nyinyi, nyinyi, nyinyi sasa, mi nataka utoka hili vaivo. Nataka kuona, na mungu tosiki kilio changu, ata mi mitumu nione. Within the next few months, nesiwe nyingi. Bishop atoke tu vila lionyeshwa. Na weo toke vila lionyeshwa. Na hii kanisa iwe watu wa metokea. That's when we shall celebrate. We cannot rule the world. Wakati tumeka jagwani kwa hema. No way. We must glad in the promise. Hallelujah. Sasa hapo naona kwamba the Bible talks about immediately they engaged on the journey ya kuvuka something introduced itself. Inaitwa nini? There arose great storm of weed and the waves that beat the ship so that it was now full. This is a kind of oppression. Listen carefully. Kuvuka ni kweda hivi. Lakini bot kuja maji ni kweda hivi. Bible nasema mpaka chobo kikaanza kuzama. The statement was si kuzama ni kuvuka. And now I want to speak to you now. Wewe ulikuwa uvuke. Lakini shinda na mateso ya watu na mapepo inasema za maji yani. Right now I stand with you. Kama vile Yesu alipo si mama. And I want to tell you the language, the language, the language about the ruba zatakuwa kusikia. If you check your Bible, Jesus did not have any debate, any debate, have any discussion, any philosophical, any philosophical uh, engagement na his storm. Ukiagalia vizuri, wakati Yesu aliamuka, Bible says, and he arose and rebuked the weeds and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the weed ceased and there was great calm. Na original prophecy karudi tunavuka. Listen carefully. Umeongea mamomegi mpaka kona stress. What the weed requires, what the storm requires, nikulaaniwa, nikukemewa, nikukemewa. Hakuna kitu tunaongea na hii maneno ya And I would like you to spend many days rebuking the weed. 
I rebuke the sickness. I rebuke the hardship in my marriage. I rebuke this lack. I rebuke ujinga who. So chuti kimesi mama katikati yako na ngambo should receive the statements of rebuke. Kristo haku amuka kuuliza upepo huu ulianzaje? Kristo haku amuka kuuliza na hii imewatesa kiasi gani? Kristo haku amuka kuuliza mnaonaje? Kristo aliamuka kuonyesha wanafunzi kwamba kile niliongea kwamba tunavuka should take over. And now I rebuke the storm, I rebuke the wind mpaka bahari itulie na chombo kirudi katika original prophecy, original directive and original order. We are crossing over. I say this gap between me and what God showed me imeingiliwa. Wapendwa nimewaombe and God showed me ujaja wa shetani jangu katikati yako na kanani kumetokea ukavu but because original prophecy is there Moses na Abuaje nenea mwamba utoe maji kumetokea bahari ya shamu but because original vision and prophecy kwa ba tunada kanan lazima dead sea ingekuwa jia kumetokea ja lakini kwa maana original vision kwa tunaenda chakula ikapikiwa binguni ikaanza kuwa supplied every morning amen na kwa sababu lazima tufike viatu zao hazikuzeeka guo hazikuraruka i said to you e gap must honor it must honor you it must honor you and i want to tell you something that god told me right now as i preach i see god is raising mighty prophets here kuna kitu leo nitalaani mama irimo something is happening in your family something is happening in your life kuna interference ilikuja lakini it must die now some of you are giving in unakuta umeanza kuogea kama wanafunzi kwa hapo unaangamia hiyo language bwana aiondoe kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo wengine hata wamepaa stories za wengine unakuta hata wameanza kusengenya wengine wasema fulani ameangamia i want to change you now from today in this church be a prophet of other brothers and sisters amen we don't start the situation we command the situation hallelujah watoto wadogo fulani ambao wamepotea hatusemi kwamba wamepotea hatukubali wamepotea tunasema now 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 we know our brother Mungu amemuita avuke na sasa tunadai watoto wao kwake kwa unabii twajua ndugu wetu ni mtumishi wa Bwana aliye juu sana na twa dai sasa mwenye na muingilia anyamaze twajua dugu fulani dada fulani Mungu alimuita aone utukufu kuna kitu kilitokea kwa maisha yako ambao kimecha aibu twasema hiyo aibu ikufe dada areje sasa kwa safari ya kuvuka kuna kitu cha aibu matope ulipakwa na watu kila wakati wanaongea kuhusu matope haya na obadamu ya Yesu kuosha na Bwana kurudishe kwa safari ya kuvuka kwa maana unabii ulisema unavuka there's something god said you should become na itaka sana haikai my god I'm, i'm going to pray for you let's start for prayer and now by the word of god I want to rebuke that weed. I want to rebuke the storms. I want to rebuke the storms. Hai kata basika. Nataka sasa unue mikono ulaani chochote kimeka kwa jia yako ya ahadi. Nataka uangamize kila pepo. Shusha kila ngome. Na makatara bosaka. Shekene makuta inti masaya rapona. Rekene makata rapa sanda. Pepo ilioka kwa nyumba yako. Amuru iende kuzimu. Roho baya. Apo inatesa watoto wako. Amuru ilaaniwe. Kira sauti. Ya 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 hata kama ni ugonjwa apya ugonjwa huna haki ya kuniua wewe I'm going far just as my god spoke shetapo kasanda my katarabosia sheke 
Kere remasanda Remasikiri mamo Yoko soka Kira mtu ombo siagaria nebode Omba ombo si cheze jameni Rekere reba Lepo sakiri mamo Shekere reba mamo Shina mikata rabo Shekere reba mamo Shekere reba rakata Makata rabo soko Shekere reba kata rabo Sherina makata ribaka Shondi makati rimasanda Yo makasha karaba boka Yendi makia raku tarinai Mikaya rapo sontarima Joko tanta masanto rima Yekere masiara Sherere babobobo senderere babobo say Yeko topo soka Shekete masikara babo Oye masinda rarabo se Shekerere babobobobo Rekerere yo Shekere babobobobo Makata posoka rima babobosanda Oh the blood of Jesus Christ The blood of the Lord The blood of Jesus Christ 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 Hala masata rabo sanda Shekere mababa Dakata ukawaida Na mazoya ya dunia hii Na kata Ama wimbi haya Na varupa hizi Mamba ya uongo Udaganyifu Misunderstanding Pepo Ambazo zinaongea Pepo ambazo zinafinyiria watu Hamna nafasi katika wapendo wa ikanisa Aina masendenema Yokata ya ridabo Yondi masantori masanda Yokata kasantori mamo Jesus I worship you Wapendo, listen now. I prayed for you. I have seen the vision. Mimi ni meona makubwa makubwa. Wewe si yom dogo vile na jiona. Wewe si oduni vile umefanywa na watu. Safari yako ya kuvuka ngambo imeingiliwa. Lakini kire upepo na dhurupa zinahitaji kusikia. They should be rebuked for you have to cross over. Nanena kama Kareb. The Lord you give you your mountain just as he said. Don't fear the giants. Nothing should deter you from occupying what God spoke about you. Oh, Mungu wangu, Baba wangu, Mungu wa haki. Fight these battles now. Fight these battles now. Wewe ndio simama katikati ya bahari na safari hiyo kwa mabadilishwa. Ukairejesha kwa neno lako Simama sasa Simama katika mpendwa huyu Na kwa amuli yako sasa Na masendere mabosaya Now listen now This is prophecy that God gave me I want to make a prayer Na kataka usikize Nyinyi Nataka kuambia kabisa Hapa Kuna watu very soon hamuta waelewa. Mutakuwa kama ude jamaa katika John chapter 9 alie zali wakipofu paka watu wakaunda story around him. Wakasema melaniwa but Christ said ako hivi diyo guvu za muzi ulikane. Jamaa lipopata macho people said they can't understand kama ni yeye. I know ata bishop gatimo kwa muda bo hauko bali. Ah, hamta nielewa. Lakini ni tawambia, I'm the same man who was in that pulpit. Niki watambilia. Kuna wandada harpa, hamta waelewa. Kuna family harpa, zita eleweka. But we will help you very soon to understand us. We will tell you, we are the same people who used to beg. We are the same people about to likuwa na tunachekelewa. But God, God has rebuked the spirit. And we crossed over. We are the same people. Ambao 
somebody to show dear to struggle, struggling with the storm, struggling with the wind, struggling with the waters. Since you are a one to Murisema to Nazama, but Jesus stood up, rebuked our storms, rebuked the wind, and we were restored to the original prophecy. And now, Hatukuzama to Rivuka. Very soon, the Lord will introduce my chapter, and God will prove you now, and you shall tell people, Muriniacha Kamani Nazama, Lakini Mokosi Adisi Mama, Akalani the Rupa, Nasapo Shenderema, Nakabadirisha Jina Kuzama, and Akaleta original statement, Nikavuka. Niko ngambo Mulio goje awa mekufa Anaishi Mulio fikiria mezama He has multiplied Mulio goje nyumba yake ishe He has multiplied Mulio acha Zorupa zina mkalia Zorupa zirimuti Mulio acha kingangana Kungangana kulisha Akapewa dominion Mulio chekelea Murio ita mjinga Alibadilika Akawa heki maya yehova The Lord stood up in the sea Oh ye ma shendeleleo Shendeleleo londo lolebo saya Sheka kaka koko tapoko sakinama Mekete serari babo Rikere re mabo sanda Wapendwa hukwezi eleweka Lakini utaeleweka very soon For the Lord will reveal Who you are in his mind The Lord will reveal Who you are in prophecy The Lord will reveal Who you are in his plan But in my alito Kipo maskini Lakini miguni mayesu The Lord revealed who but mouse was in his mind. Hallelujah. My father. Usikawie. Si mama katika ibahari. Mungu. Si mama. Gaiwa koroga mareu. Ah. Oh yandara mo shandaraba. My God now start. Prove your name. Shakata rababa. Mungu wa Elija Leta moto sasa Mungu wa Elija ah, Fungu wa pingu Release the fire Release the fire Confirm your word Gai wa Elija Mungu wa angu Jibu na moto Jibu na moto Jibu na moto Agamiza madui Agamiza manabi wa pari Prove your word Lord Shara la la barando lo lo, shara la 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 ba 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 sura ba. Shaka taraba kotari masekere reba, reka la 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 barando ro ro ba sa. Shara la bara katara ba ba sa, sheka la la ba ba sekere reba ba. Shaka tafa kasa kara ba ba sa, shetari masekara ra ba ba sa, shekere ma katara ba sekere ba ba, yona ma katara ba ba. Kuna mnyo inanguka, kuna ngomezi naisha, kuna ngomezi naisha, kuna wamba katarabo senda rababo saya. Thank you Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh we worship you Lord. We worship you Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be healed. Be healed now. Yo bahari tulie. Kifo kiangamie. Laana zisha sasa. Utumwa wa UK. Ugumu ishe For we must cross over Sharada bakatarabo soka Wapendwa You know what I'm going to do 
the Holy Spirit is here. Truly, truly, I say to you, from this minute, direction is changing. I say for the mouth of God, umkutano umeshikanishwa na kiticha enzi. Jehovah mesimama atazame ibada hii. And angels have been, have been authorized. All dust have been released. All dust have been released. The king of kings has ordered. Excuse me. There's mighty anointing here. Kuna ngome zinaisha. Kuna watu sahi ata wamepona already. Kuna watu biyasha azao zimeinuka. Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. Now listen. Kama Yehovah aishivyo wapendwa. From this moment. The Lord had showed me. Kuna gap ili umbika. Katikati yako. Na utukufu uri oitiwa. And the devil ametumia ujaja na uongo na confusion. And wasting your time. Wasting your resources. Disturbing you. Depressing you. And God commanded me to rebuke Satan. And I will tell you right now, Satan is rebuked. The weed is rebuked. The storms are rebuked. Na hayo maisha. Yaliyo kuwa ya meretewa unambi wa kigeni. Yaliyo kuwa ya meretewa ujube wa kigeni. Yaliyo kuwa ya meretewa mishale na uongo na confusion. Mpaka direction ya kuvuka ikabadirisho ikawa ya kuzama. I say to you by the authority of the throne of God. Kutoka dakika hii. Mutashudia invest church. Families, brothers and sisters, ambao mulifikilia na walikuwa wameja characteristics za kuagamia. You fight them. Wamefika pahali unambiuli shema. Na mujue ni mungu wamenena. Iyo haita kawia. Thus says the Lord. Haita kawia. Haita kawia. Na nigetako kitoka hapa usiwe na shaka yoyote. Mutajionea kwa kazi zenu, mutajionea kwa watoto wenu, mutajionea. Kuna kitu kipia, kuna kizima kipia kinaongea. Mambo ya kare imeisha. Na hii gap haba imekua katikati yako na utukufu. Iyo gap haba ilikuwa imejado ruba. Sasa imeisha sasa. It's over now. Is over, and the glory of God shall be revealed. Leo ni siku ya Friday. Okay, na nyumbani spend time hearing the voice of God. I may not continue build here. Sasi meisha, but I sense yuri ataeda na upa kona sikize utanza kuona kile mwe dionyesha. Hapa kuna maskini. Hapa hakuna. You know the way you appear. You are not, whoever see vile tunakuona. Kile mungu waliongea. Diyo kita tokea. And I give God praise. Nitakuwa ni kizima wa mbere yenu naona mambo. Ambao Jehovah amenionyesha leo. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Already about wame ponyo wa onyibo. Just. Tomorrow, testimony is taja hapa. There are things mutashudia. Directions are changing. No kiuna hivu usikubali mamba ya kare. Zama sasa. Na uwede mahali Jehovah likuambia. May God bless you. God keep you.